the genesis of the idea was the space and the light and the effect that those things have on one another. When people come into those spaces, they see the light and, uh, and it lifts them. The biggest inspiration for design is generally about understanding what the space is about. Time and motion is the most important thing when designing a kitchen. The space and the time it takes you to go from one point to another, you need to reduce it as much as possible. You don't want to be walking for miles. I cook a great corned beef. I cooked one recently for my mother-in-law and she ate it like she was a truck driver. She loved it. This is a more linear type kitchen. The fundamental premise is that you design on a triangular basis. The, the tip of the triangle is the, is the removable bench. So you move from that down to the refrigerators, across to the stove and across to the sink. That's the way a good functioning kitchen works. The idea is that when you come in, you have different platforms, you can go to different areas and have different experiences. You look from one area down to another area, and, oh, that's interesting, you know, it uplifts you rather than living in boxes. So the differentiation between the functions in the house are the kitchen and the dining room are on one level, and then you go up another half level above that into the bedroom. They're all differentiated, instead of by walls, they're differentiated by levels, drop in level. So that defines the spaces within the, the big space. A project like this is very personal to yourself, you know. Architecture is problem solving, but it's also a performing art. You've got to perform. You've got to provide the stage and the background for people to live or people to occupy those spaces. I had to go back and re-examine things that I loved about architecture. Rather than coloured walls, we put coloured art on there. So it creates its own atmosphere. The house forms the backdrop for the art. The art adds to the ambience of the space, just like the light does. This house actually embodies me. It totally encapsulates my loves and passions of architecture.